Adventure family. How you guys doing? Welcome back to the Adventure guys. It's your boy Ray254 Adventures. We back again with another banger. I mean, we out here in some nature. As you can see, birds are chirping, all green around me, and it's so damn peaceful. But hey, we're gonna get out there, go through this cool trail called um, Dead Man's Hollow. It's a cool um, spot that we're gonna go check out. So got some um, old remains here. It used to be like an old pipe factory and stuff back here. And um, yeah, this place got a lot of crazy stories and stuff. It's actually haunted because they found somebody dead or something. I think it was like in the 1800s or so it was something like that, like 1918. Some some crazy story. There's a lot of crazy stories that happen here. Multiple different stories and stuff. But we're gonna here check it out for ourselves. There's actually a tunnel and stuff. We're gonna check out also here that's left abandoned. So I mean, let's go wander around in some nature. Let me see what we can get into. Cause it's a nice little historical area here. So I mean, we're gonna go check it out, man. But I mean, just got done parking up. It looks like I'm the only one in this um area here today i mean i don't i don't i'm not too sure if there's like another parking lot or something around here but for the meantime we just get started here there was a little sign there with the map and all that there and um we just walk in this little trail here i don't know what trail we really got to be on to get to the um remains and stuff so i mean we're just gonna matter of fact we're just gonna walk straight i'm assuming walk straight i'm not sure this thing just spitting off crazy because if it's just a trail back here there's another trail here, and there's one trail here. So I'm a little confused right now. <laughs> a little confused. I'm, I think I'm gonna go right back to this map, take a picture of this thing, so we don't get lost here, cause this place definitely looks like a spot that we could get lost. It looks like it'll be towards this way. Looks a little bit more creepier. But I don't know. It's my first time being here. And it doesn't really have a way to get there. Let me see, let's see. You're gonna find out. You're gonna find that thing out. It's a map right here. Just got done taking a picture of that thing. The map there. Hopefully we don't get lost. There's a couple ways you can actually get there to where we need to get to, where the remains and stuff is at. You can actually go this way. It was two split offs up here, and it was a split off here. I see a sign that's all the way over here in this corner, so I might end up going this way here. See what this takes us to. This one right here looks a little better. It's a little bit more narrower get make us feel like we're more in nature the other way is like a wider path so you know a lot of people um walk towards that area but we're here just getting started with this trail hopefully we don't get lost but it's early so i mean we should be good i hope it don't rain man it would suck if it rains man it is like cloudy out here real muggy oops i heard a train so there's a train around the area just coming up to like the sign right here. We're about to see what this thing says. So here goes some information here. So this in this area right here is known for like all the birds and stuff. So we're gonna be seeing a lot of um, different type of um, birds flying through. It's a little creepy here though. <laughs> See some markings right here. It's a blue um, little arrow on the tree. Things overgrown like crazy. If it gets too crazy, we're gonna just turn back, take the other trail though. Cause I ain't trying to get all muddied up. Here goes another blue marking. I just seen a woodpecker just took off. He was just chilling right here. Right on his little little stick right here. He flew off somewhere over here. All oh, you see was a little red head. Yeah, 
It'd be cool we could see him somewhere up here. But he took off, I tell you. <laughs> he was out as soon as he heard us. He was like, Phew. right out. <laughs> so this is actually my last day up here in Pittsburgh. I'm actually gonna start heading back to Philadelphia and stuff once I finish this trail here. So, you know what I mean? I'm just gonna, you know I mean, go out with a nice little bang. Do a nice little nature explore before we head out of um, Pittsburgh. And it would be cool to check out these remains. Hopefully we can get to them, man. Hopefully I'm going the right way. But if not, we still having a good time out here, man. Even though these spider webs are hitting me all over my face. <laughs> it's crazy. You tell nobody hasn't been in this trail here. I'm just walking in the middle of the woods, figuring out what this thing is taking me to. But like I was saying, um, if you can find these remains and stuff like that, this place is crazy, man. It used to be like a whole pipe factory. They used to do like these type of like, they're like them pipes that look like the clay and stuff. Like they make them like the way they do like um, plates and stuff. Them little clay pipes. I don't know what they call and stuff. I mean, but um, there used to be a factory back over here. The only thing that's still left for the factory, I think just like the structure of it. And there's a whole bunch of like cool like artwork and stuff that people look graffiti and stuff on out throughout the walls and stuff through there. But it's a cool location and stuff that I've seen online and stuff. But I mean we're here for our first time checking it out. Trying to find this place. It's crazy though because it ain't very good marked and stuff. I'm following a, a nice little trail though, dude. We got some markers on this trail. But it doesn't really tell you where um everything is at, like all the remains and stuff, or the tunnel that we want to check out. So hopefully we can see that stuff. Just here, just continuing on with that same path, following the blue markings, seeing what this thing is leading us to. And I'm um, keeping my fingers crossed. Hopefully it doesn't um, rain on us because we don't want to be out here um, soaking wet. Especially I got all my electronics and stuff with me. But we're here in the middle of the woods, just wandering around. I can see like another information sign up here. So we're gonna go check that one out also. But we're here still continuing on with this trail. Very cool, nice little trail though. Real nice and peaceful. It does come up to like another split up here. But I think I'm continuing on going up instead of going to this one that's leading downwards. I don't know where that's taking me to, probably taking it towards the bottom there. Probably doesn't go there anywhere though. But I'm coming up to this little information center here. Oh look, there's another trail here. Oh, so this one it gets a little crazy now. <laughs> this one it gets crazy. Oh, this is the same little sign that we seen back there. Same information. I'm gonna just continue on walking straight here. They say you get a turn right there, but I'm not sure what that would lead you to. I'm gonna stick on to the path that I was on. Hopefully we can run into what we came here for. Looks like we're coming up to like an opening or something up here. It said it was gonna be like some views and stuff he was gonna see throughout this trail. Hopefully, I mean, we can find them too. I mean, see some views, see some remains, and see some caves, well, tunnels and stuff. Hopefully we can um, get to see everything we came here for. And dang, these spider webs just keep smacking me in my face. <laughs> By the time I get back to the car, I'm gonna have a whole like wig on my head with spider webs. Over here, still on the blue markings. And like I said, this trail does have markings. I've been seeing like these blue little arrow markings up here on the trees. Like these little blue markings here. They're the ones I've been following the whole time here. Oh, I'm tripped on a little twig there. Get a little peek out right here. You can actually walk down here and get a little peek out. It ain't a crazy view, but you get a nice little peek out through there. See the other side of the mountain. Let's get back on track here. We don't want to waste no time. Especially on that view, we're going to get to better. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully we get to better. Cause you know, you come out here for one thing and it could turn out to be the whole opposite. 
You can never know what you can expect in life. Life will throw crazy obstacles at you, man. I just love the sound of nature. Birds chirping. Birds chirping. <laughs> yeah, it felt good. Beautiful morning. A beautiful, beautiful morning. You can hit like a road somewhere down there. I like get a motorcycle just speeding by. This thing is starting to do like a little turn. A little bend around the mountain here. I'm hoping man, this thing is taking us to where we want to go. So I can see another hiker that's up here. So I'm hopefully going the right way. Still here following the same blue markings. See when this thing leaves. Hey, how you doing? Good morning. I'm going the right way for the remains. For all, like for the remains of the building? Yes, you are. Just going through this way? Keep going. Follow down. You'll get to a bridge down at the bottom okay. and then go right over that way. And uh, cool. You'll see him. All right, thanks, appreciate you, it. You can't miss I thought I was way. lost for a second. I was like, oh, I hope I'm going the right way. No, no, you are. You are. <laughs> this trail is real crazy. You too, man, enjoy your day. So we are going the right way, guys. Just gotta continue this thing down here. Going down. He said we gotta cross like a bridge. As soon as we cross over that bridge, we got a little bit over the bridge and then um, we should get to our destination. So that's a good thing, we ain't lost. So he was saying, don't go over the um, bridge there. He said, as soon as I get to the bridge, I gotta turn right and it's gonna get me to my destination and stuff. I think there's a tree fell right here. So we gotta maneuver around this. I'm actually gonna go down here. Hopefully be good. Hopefully we don't um, hurt us stuff. Get in around this stuff here. Oh, I'm gonna trip right there. Uh, had to go over this little tree that fell. But we made it through, made it around it. Now the thing is starting to go downhill. So that means you gotta walk this thing going back up. Oh, look at that blue jay. Ooh, that thing's nice. I don't know if that guy's seen it. He's just flying around right there. Beautiful bird. So I can start seeing a bridge down below over here. But he said once I get to the bridge, I gotta um, turn right. He said it's gonna be like another little trail that's gonna leave us to the remains and stuff. I'm gonna go down here. I can see it's right there on the bottom left of me. If I can make it down there without almost falling, <laughs> I almost slip right there. Everything's like real muggy out here and like moist. So it's everything's like slippery, all these stones and little um, twigs under the ground. Look at these cool little steps here, we gotta go down. Here goes a little tea split off here. It's like another little trail. I'm assuming we would have ran through here. We're actually gonna go down this little hill here. It's very steep. I'm trying to get down to the bottom here where the bridge is at. I'm just being very careful. All right, we're here at the bottom. The bridge is just over here. He said once I get to the bottom here where the bridge is at, I was supposed to make a right. I think he's talking about like towards this way over here. That's why I just came from up here. So as soon as I get down here, he told me to make a right. That's what's going to take us to where the remains and stuff is at. We're going to find out. Let's walk over here before 
we go check that bridge out. It's a bench and stuff just over there in that corner. It is a trail. I do see some walls and some graffiti. So this has gotta be the location. Oh yeah, stuff jumping out the bushes to be these damn chick buns. Scaring the hell out of me. Oh yeah, we made it guys. Made it here to where the factory is at. Um, after this, we're gonna go see if we can find this cave and stuff. But this thing is crazy. Wait till I turn this camera around and show y'all guys. Man, this thing, just, just thinking of it. I was being a factory, just left behind here. People working here, people having life here. And um, yeah, just look at this thing. This is what's left. Still very cool, still checking this thing out. Knowing people was here working. Knowing this used to be a factory here. And nature once took over. Well, nature did took over. Got some cool artwork right there. We just making our way inside of it here. trees and stuff growing inside of the building what once was a building you see people be um camping here they got a little pit fire i ain't think you camp here just walking around checking it out so damn amazed look at this Some more structure right here. Like a little wall right on the side. I know you guys can see that. Then the road goes here with the trail. Splits off in two ways. Just gonna go around this area here and just explore the area. So the trail splits off right here. I'm gonna walk up to this bench. He was um this area looks like over here. Look, there's like a big hole right here. Ugh, hopefully I don't fall in it. <laughs> Damn, look this thing. It's like a whole big hole down there. With a whole stone structure around it. It's right on the side of the trail. I'm still gonna explore around this building, see what we can um, see here. I think it continues on over there. Don't know what it leads to. But we're gonna finish exploring this area here. We still got a lot to check out here. So let's just walk around, see what we can find here. Just walking with that little wall I was telling y'all about. Oh, damn, whatever that thing was, just took off. That look crazy. That thing scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, my heart racing. As soon as I step right there, that thing just whew, skedaddle. <laughs> that thing was scary as hell. You can see some like stones and stuff over here too. Not sure what's that for. These chick ones, they taking over this section though, I'll tell you. It's very overgrown right here. I don't know what I'm walking towards. I'm just walking around. Still next to the I'm building here, just in back of it. So this thing is leaving us to like a main real path right here this path was like a little off trail path i can see the building still right there i'm gonna continue on walking over here just a little before we head back towards the building over there just see what's over here it's crazy because you can see all the um pipes and stuff right here in the dirt of this um tree here you see the little um, clay little pipes there? That's the pipes that a factory that was back over there usually used to make and stuff. It's crazy that it's still there. When I come back towards this way, I gotta take a picture of that thing. I can see a bike trail up here also too. You can see these people up here on bikes. Uh, somebody just passed by on a bike. So it's coming up to like a main little trail here. It's a bike trail. 
so I don't know what the heck this thing took us to. It took us to like this main bike trail here. This is a paved path. Just gonna walk up here. See what it leads to. I'm actually gonna be turning back because still gotta go back over there and check out the rest of the stuff that was on the other side of the building. I just started wandering off on this trail. Just seeing what it took me to. And as you can see, here's a bike path that continues on. Right here, a paved path. You can see a train used to run through here too on the other side of this own paved path. You can see some old like train tracks here covered up. These things overgrown like crazy. Look at this. Ain't no train going through this thing. I can see like this building all the way over there, like this little structure of a building. Before I go back over there, back into that trail, continue on making our way back to the car and stuff like that. I'm actually gonna walk over here, see what that little building about. Check that thing out while we um, walk on the side of this little train tracks here. A train would have had this nice little view right on the side of this um, river there. Going through whatever it used to carry here. Probably this, this part was to that factory that's back over there with the pipes and stuff. That's probably how they used to transport all this stuff through this train here. But it's like a little path right here and then I follow on a gravel little path. I'm just gonna walk up to that building up there. Once I um, walk up there, we're gonna turn back around. Get back onto the trail that we was at. Go back to the factory. And I'm trying to look for that little um, tunnel and stuff. Had to come over here and check this out. Nice and sunny too, starting to get sunny. Cause when we came in here, it was cloudy. And I'm gonna look like it went through the rain. And it was a little chilly, but definitely um, heated up a little. We got a little height to go back, so I mean, we ain't gonna go too far out here. I man, just wanted to see what's back here. And um, like I said, we're gonna turn back once I get up here and see what's over in this, in this corner up here. You can tell that train had ran for years. And they got the overgrown on it. Can't even see the tracks anymore. crazy so this is what I was talking about but whatever it was it fell down just all the pieces of wood and stuff is still there and a little bit of concrete structure I'm not sure what it was here but I'm gonna look around it take a look probably something from the train here Like a whole bunch of wood just thrown back there. Like everything just collapsed. This thing continues on, like this thing just goes on. All the way straight back there. Looks like there's another building that's all the way over there in that corner. And this is all the um, over remains of this little structure that was here. We're just gonna be turning back from here because I don't think there's nothing else up here. It would have been cool if we could have had a look out to the water out here. Chill and relax out there or something, but I don't think it leads to anything. Just to this big field here. And we don't want to add on our, add our more um, time to our hike and stuff, so we're actually gonna turn back around. Just looking at all this stuff here before we head out of here. This is probably something for the tracks that was right here, like I said. But we just turned back. We're just going back where we came from. Taking this thing right back onto that trail. Getting back to the um, factory that was back over there in the woods and stuff we were checking out at. Head back over there. The tunnel should be right next to it. They say that it should be like not too far from the building that's what i read online and stuff so hopefully we can find that thing there was another little path that turned off with that um, the other direction was at when i when i when i went to the back of the building where that bench was at there was like another trail there so we might go over there and walk over there a little too just to see what's in that direction and stuff so we're back here on the bike path just crossing back over making our way right back to the factories back over here and I'm um, just go find this little tunnel and stuff. Go check out this tunnel that's back over here. This is somewhere. And I'm um, just check out the other side of the building that we didn't get to check out. 
I just started going crazy and just wandering off. Then get to finish off the section that we did. <laughs> but once we finish this section here, we're actually gonna be headed back towards the car and stuff. So this is what we really came out here for. Get my head to check out these buildings and this tunnel. We can find the tunnel. It's the same little path that um, we was walking before we came on to that bike path. Once we walk, this thing's gonna leave us right in front of that um, factory and stuff. Whoa. I don't know what the hell was that. <laughs> Sun jumped out of there. It's crazy because a lot of people say this place is haunted. So if you guys see anything strange or anything weird and I don't see it, let me know in the comments and stuff because. I mean, I just find it like it's just regular nature. I haven't seen nothing um, crazy happen to me. Just like little things hopping out the bushes. <laughs> but that's like the animals and stuff, I'm assuming. But this right here is a little trail that goes back over here. I'm gonna just walk through this little trail, see what this thing takes me to. Whoa, look at this thing. Damn. They go to the tunnel down there. You can see all the, um, this thing too. The little, um, pipes and stuff they used to make underneath all the dirt here. We're gonna try to see if we can get our way down there somehow. I'm trying to go back around to the, um, factory and stuff. Hopefully it'll leave us, leave us over here in this section. Just got back onto the path here. I can see the building just in front of me here. So there gotta be a way somehow to get down here. I see another little trail right here. That looks like it goes down, so we might give it a try. And yep, it does, but it's a little rough. So I'm trying to find another way over here, see if there's something else. It gotta be something, cause it's like all these um, little trails making its way towards this little area there. But here goes the factory again. And I'm gonna take this little path right here. See if we can get down from this one here. And yep, this one's a lot easier. Look at this thing. Everybody can feed it on the wall right there. Give it a more scarier vibe. And there goes the tunnel that we're gonna go under. <laughs> and hopefully we make it alive. Well, I guess weather would have been coming through here or something. I'm gonna get my lights and all that stuff ready. Get ready to go inside this tunnel here and see what I mean, what's in there. So guys, we're going in the tunnel now. Hopefully they ain't no damn, um, them little cave crickets and stuff. I see a whole bunch of like bugs flying in the air like mosquitoes. Let's turn the light on here. Let's go in and explore this thing. Hopefully we can make it out alive. all the way in there with a pipe and it's like all these clay pipes here on the ground spiders like crazy on the ceiling hopefully they don't jump on our head <laughs> I hate spiders so hopefully they don't go on our head look at this thing here though Whew, man this thing look crazy definitely need a picture of this it was up there overlooking us a few minutes ago but from down here it looks crazy. It's like, look at this thing. It's another tunnel that goes on here. Start getting a little bit wet and muddy through this area. So hopefully we'll be good. Look at these big um, pipes right here just stacked up on each other. I'm gonna see if we can go into this one, see how far we could get. Very careful here. Try not to hurt myself. And this thing just continues on crazy. It just go. Oh, 
Hopefully nothing comes out of this damn thing. <laughs> I can see lighting on the other side there a little. It gets very cold here though. I can see some lighting up above too. She's up there, looks like a window or something. I tell you, this is scary as hell. I can't believe I'm doing this by myself. Look at that. It's crazy. Look what the hell I be getting myself into, man. I hear something in here. I don't know what the heck that was. Not too sure there's a road on top of this or what. That's what it sounds like though. Oh, it actually goes into the water here. Dang, this is crazy. So this tunnel goes to the water. It's a nice little art piece right there. any further than this because it just gets muddy and it goes right into the water down here. This is scary but cool at the same time. I want to go all the way to the end of this thing. I'm going to just say heck it and see how far I could get because ain't no sense of stopping here. It's like a big sewer line, sewer line that we in. I'm just hoping this thing doesn't like buck wind and we get all muddy and stuff. Cause that's gonna be nasty as hell. Like right here, look how muddy it looks. I'm hoping I'll be good here. Ooh, look, look. I just jinxed it, man. Dang. This is the furthest I'm gonna get cause right over there it just gets crazy muddy. And I didn't bring my boots with me, so we ain't gonna be able to do that one. So we turn them back. Just making our way back out of here. Getting back out of this little tunnel here. This thing is crazy. All you see is all the um, breaking up little pipe things that factory used to make down here. That's where they threw all their debris when they um, closed down. Everything went ahead. This is the same way they be doing like the pots and stuff. Or like that clay. Gotta be careful where you step at though, because a lot of these things are loose. So you twist your ankles on these things. Coming out the second one here. About to go back into this another little tunnel. This would have been, I guess, a tunnel right here too. It looks like this is the remain of the top that I'm standing on. That's would have been like that. It would have been part of the tunnel, but it collapsed. Hopefully these don't collapse as we make our way out the rest of this thing here. Whoa. All these bugs. It's crazy. Back inside of this little tunnel here. If somebody was crazy enough, they would probably go in there. But I ain't that crazy to go inside that little hole. Get all wet and don't know what could happen in there. <laughs> Just back out of here. Let's climb out of this thing here. We made our way out of the little tunnel there. Put this light away. And I'm dang. That thing was a little crazy and scary. But we made it alive. So we're gonna go back up here to these buildings up here. And I'm just chill up here, catch our energy back. And I'm start backtracking our way back to the car and stuff like that. But let's go up here and relax a little. So we're just gonna chill here, get our energy back, start backtracking our way out of here. I'm gonna sit right here, 
Right on this little um, stone here. So let me show my pants up. It's a night crawls in my behind. <laughs> but we're here enjoying nature, man. Just sit inside of this factory. So guys, I just noticed that my GoPro only got 20% of battery. And it's actually my last battery that I had filled and stuff like that. But um, the two batteries that they had with me, we actually went through them. I'm going through this trail and stuff. Them things are empty now. But we're going to start heading back, start backtracking, um, make our way back to the Navigator so we can start making our way back to Philadelphia and stuff like that. But I hope y'all guys enjoyed watching today's video. And we had a blast, especially checking out this cool factory here. And um, checking out the tunnel and stuff that we actually went into and stuff like that. But I hope y'all guys enjoyed it. If y'all guys did, please do me a favor. Smash that thumb buttons up. Also, y'all guys can check out the website, rate 54 adventurescom to support the adventures. If y'all guys want to support us, want to see some more, I mean, go check out the website. I got a lot of cool merch up there for good prices and stuff. Y'all won't be regretted. And, um, you know I mean? We're going to get this thing wrapped up from here. Hope y'all guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys turn on the notification bell. But I'm out of here. About to start backtracking the same way we came out of here. So I don't want to bore y'all guys with that. So peace, guys. Hope y'all guys enjoyed today's adventure. I'm out of here and start making my way back to Philadelphia. So bye-bye, and I'll see y'all guys next time.